Hi all guys, welcome to this 11th episode of the Built a Web API in ASP.NET Core 3.1 and consume it using an MVC client also in ASP.NET Core. I shall be uploading one video every day from Monday to Friday. For viewing the completed application in action with a few of the functionalities, please watch the introduction video on the part one with the link in the description on this video. In my previous episode, I discussed the error logging fundamentals in Web API project using Serilog NuGet package. Serilog is a newer logging framework for .NET. In this episode, I shall discuss the integration process step by step. Yes, actually, you heard it step by step in the Web API project using Serilog NuGet package. Now, Serilog is a newer logging framework for .NET and the problem with log files is that they are unstructured text data. So, Serilog is an answer to those unstructured text data because it was built with structured logging in mind that allows filtering the log data and makes it easy to record custom object properties and even output your logs to the JSON. In this series of tutorials, all the episodes will be in continuation from the previous ones and so is the building of the code base as you've already seen coming to this part. So hence it is highly recommended to be up to date with all the previous episodes before viewing this one. And as usual, I have been actually putting the links and the SQL scripts wherever relevant in the video description. I will also request you to view the entire video in all these episodes and do give me some feedbacks and your inputs, which are always appreciated. And I please subscribe and share this channel and click the bell notification icon to get the latest in the uploads. So let's see the learning outcomes. Welcome back. So in this lecture, we shall be actually integrating the Serilog NuGet package for web API logging. So stay tuned. And by the end of this lecture, we shall know how to include the Serilog NuGet package. Actually, there are three packages in the web API project and configure app settings.json and startup class files to include the Serilog logging packages. So over to Visual Studio web API project. Now let me right click web API package and manage NuGet packages. So no package is installed. Now let's browse to one of the package which is known as serilog.asp.asp.net core. So serilog, search for serilog.asp.net core. And install it. So it's installing the package. So accept this condition. Serilog.asp.net core. So successfully installed the package. Next, I have to install this setting serilog.settings.configuration. Okay, so click on install again. getting the package, accept the condition. And lastly, I'm looking for this package, serilog.sync.rolling file. So this is the right package. Okay. Let me install the latest pre-release. So I have now these three Serilog related packages installed. Serilog.aspinet core, Serilog.settings.configuration and Serilog.sings.rolling file. Now I need to change the app settings.json file in my project. So I will just uh, comment out the existing piece of code for the logging by default from Microsoft and then just uh, 
comment this part and I will keep the connection strings part and then after this I will just copy from my clipboard all right so this part and there is a starting curly brace on top get rid of the end brace now everything is fine so no squiggly lines so the connection string is there plus all that is necessary for the serilog package to be included in the app setting.json in the application and this is the rolling file and this is the file that will store the log of uh, all the errors the mini now then setting serilog itself this write to you can see this is an array okay this is an array and it means that you can set up many things means the destination of the, the log in our case this is the rolling file and this is the destination of the log with this template and it is restricted to the minimum level of error so nothing less than error like debug or info or warning will not be logged and this application is named common feature in web api demo this says that uh, it is an indicator as to what log belongs to what application now i am into the startup file and above the configure services method to where we register our services we will create an i configuration object i configuration and this uses a namespace click on quick actions and refactoring and it will gather the suggestion using microsoft.extension.configuration namespace all right and then name it configuration i configuration configuration and then i'll have to create this startup public uh, constructor so ctor to configure the startup and then put this object over there i configuration configuration I configuration this configuration this small c and then this configuration with capital C equal to the passed in argument to the dependency injection okay inversion of control over here so I am going to use this configuration here and another line will be I'll have to init the serilog configuration so this will be from log dot not this log it will tell me what namespace to use log dot logger and let me know let me include it use serilog okay that is the important thing over here so log dot logger equals new logger configuration read from dot configuration passing this configuration object dot create logger dot create logger okay so I have created the logger using the serilog package okay right And now into the configure method which is as you know is the middleware pipeline so below the 
environment dot is development section i'll have to use logger fact so i'll have to actually first include into the uh, argument for this configure method an i logger factory object i logger factory so let's see logger factory and then here just below the development exception page so logger factory dot add serilog add serilog this is the middleware pipeline so if you browse to this add serilog to the logging pipeline it shows on the uh, mouse over that it returns a logger factory okay and that marks the end of the integration of the serilog into the pipeline into the application and we'll be using it later while we create the repository class so let's build this at this uh, instance to see everything is all right nothing is broken control shift b so build has succeeded so nothing is broken so we have seen how to integrate the serilog nuget package into the application for logging purposes